And we're back. Hey guys, this is Typhorse Games, and I'm back to react to the rest of Ruby Volume 3, Chapter 8, Destiny. Let's get right back in. Thank you, Jean. Hmm. Uh, come on, men. Let's go back to the fairground. I'll be another stuffed animal. Nora ships it. <laughs> Fully expected. You were the first person to ever believe in me. You know that? Even when I told my parents I was going to Beacon, they told me not to worry if I ended up having to move back home. Mm. How depressing is that? Yeah. I'm sure they didn't mean... <gasps> yes! <laughs> I guess... Hand on hand. I'm just trying to say that. You've always been there for me. Even when I didn't deserve it. Okay. I don't know. <sighs> this volume is really I killing mean. me. You're already doing it. <clears throat> I'm I'm being such a fanboy right now, but I can't help it. This is amazing. Sean. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Hmm. Uh, kind of, sort of, not really. I mean, I usually just I go where life takes me. If so, I, I guess I believe in destiny. Not really sure. Escape, but rather, some sort of final goal. Something you work towards your entire life. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can see that. Sure. Well, what would you do if something came along that you never expected? Something that had the potential to stand between you and your destiny. Like what? Or what if you could suddenly fulfill your destiny in an instant, but at the cost? Okay, sorry about that. Something something happened. I mean, I ran out of storage for a second there. I, sh I should have that fixed now. And let's see. Potential to stand okay, between you and your destiny. There we go. Like what? Or what if you could suddenly fulfill your destiny in an instant, but at the cost of who you were? You're not making any sense. None of it makes sense. This isn't how things were supposed to happen. I'm sorry. Please, I I'm just trying to understand what's wrong. I've always felt as though I was destined to become a huntress. Hmm. I don't know if I can do it. Of course you can. The Pyrenee Ghosts I know would never back down from a challenge. And if you really believe it's your destiny to save the world, you can't let anything stand in your way. Kira? Stop. Did I say something wrong? Stop! Hello. Stop! Hey, Ruby. Hey, Velvet. seeing things. If it happened to Coco, it can happen to anyone. Coco? Yeah. She swore she saw Yatsu with her in the forest during the fight with Emerald and Mercury, but he never even made it out of the Geyser Fields. Str 
stress-induced hallucinations, mm. apparently. Yeah. At least Ruby's not uh, stupid sorry. enough to get, you know, suspicious. I mean, I mean, Ruby's... Uh, you know what I mean, guys. I mean, you know, at least Ruby, you know, can see something's happening. Okay, here we go. Another, another tournament thing. Oh. Ruby knows something's up now. Mercury. Kira versus Penny. Okay. Oh, man. Why? No! Stop it! No! No! Stop it! No! I don't want... Oh. Why? Wanted to end there. Now I gotta wait Ugh. another week. Oh dear. Oh man, Penny, Penny versus Pira. Uh. Uh. Good thing Pira doesn't know she's a robot. I guess, as far as I know. Oh man. Oh man. Ruby just figured out the truth. <laughs> Oh man, this is going to be. Oh man, next episode's going to be more, more awesome than I thought this one was going to be. <laughs> Don't get me out wrong, this episode was awesome. Oh man. I'm just going to process this now. Alright, till next time, guys. See ya.